whether you are dealing with a single capillary, which is the thinnest of all blood vessels, or the left ventricle of the heart itself, which is probably the thickest of all blood vessels, the blood only comes into contact with one thin layer of endothelial cells, like you see here. These are a few nice endothelial cells forming uh, the endocardial portion of the heart. Here you can see considerable thick myocardium. What you can also see is that as you go into a valvular area of the heart, which is defined as an area of uh, endocardial thickening, you could see that something is wrong here. You could see that there are infiltrates of inflammatory cells. You could see that the uh, valve also is uh, thicker than it should be, has these infiltrates of inflammatory cells, and appears somewhat uh, granular and uh, necrotic. This is a heart valve which has been damaged once again by rheumatic fever. And in this case, you could see that even though some of the myocardium out here may have some uh, inflammatory changes very subtly, the area of greatest damage and inflammation is uh, here in the endocardial portion, which is the valve. If you look up here in the north the east corner, you can see this lower area is primarily myocardium, and the upper area is primarily a valve, which is a specialized type of endocardium. Here's a valve. Here's myocardium. The primary destructive process going on here uh, is in the valve itself. This is called a subacute rheumatic endocarditis because it's not quite as acute as you would expect to see an extremely acute inflammation in which you have uh, infiltrates of nothing but inflammatory cells, perhaps edema. This is a uh, subacute. Uh, it's not chronic because there is not a considerable amount of fibrosis here. There is still some uh, acutely damaged tissue, but it is not quite as acute as what you would see in, a, in an extremely acute process from a cellular point of view. These valves could very easily look like this, grossly, in which you could see the valve leaflets here. You could see their attachments to the chordae tendini and the chordae tendini attaching to the papillary muscles. This is a subacute rheumatic endocarditis, or if you would prefer valvulitis, perhaps. Thank you very much.